Good morning, everyone. I am in New York. I'm at a park that I used to go to a lot when I used to live here. So I thought I'd make a video here just because it's a special place and talk a bit about what I've been doing here. I know a lot of you were asking when I'm going to post a video in New York, why I keep posting videos back home in Rwanda. So I made a few videos there on purpose just because I knew like the first week or so that I was here I'd want to just like spend some time with my family and stuff like that so that's why I did that but now I am free all my family have left already they were here for a bit we spent some time together and now I've got about a week left before I leave home I actually extended my flight I was supposed to leave a few days ago and I extended it just because I had so much to do here I would have never finished it in time so I extended it so I have about a week left so I'm gonna spend this week just running some errands doing stuff like that making some videos Ooh, it's very hot today there's actually a heat wave a heat warning and they've advised people to kind of stay home or stay indoors but not me because I'm from Africa and I'm used to this weather so I'm just gonna hmm. There's like a little picnic area here. That's cute. So I'm gonna sit here. Where should I sit? All right, so I have set up my little camera on the tripod and I'm sitting here and it's so nice and peaceful and there's a great breeze. I definitely don't feel the heat over here, but of course I do have my coffee. I really miss this coffee, I'm not gonna lie. Like this is just so refreshing. You don't even need any milk in it. It's like a black iced coffee, and they put some vanilla flavor in it. It's the best. Anyway, oh, there's so much to say, I don't even know where to begin. So I've been here for two weeks, and it has flown by. And it's funny because we came here to this exact spot the day after I arrived. And that was over two weeks ago, and the time has just flown. I just, I don't know where it went. You know and that's part of the reason why I did extend uh, for about a week because I was just so happy and so overwhelmed and spending time with my family in the first two weeks that I didn't actually do any of the things that I needed to do like bank things shopping things stuff like that so and of course filming videos so that's why I extended so I have another week and it's down to business this week there's a lot of things that I'm gonna be doing of course, making videos. I wanna make a few videos here. Uh, I do need to do some bank things. I do need to set up some new accounts, some stuff like that, so, but that's boring. You guys don't wanna see that. But I am gonna take you guys along. I've done most of the shopping for like me and Bob and Joni and like most of the like gifts and stuff for the kids. But what I have left to do is buy the clothes for the kids. And I did wait with that because I wanted to film that for you guys because I thought you would enjoy it. So the shop that I usually buy the clothes for the kids for, just because I have so many kids that I need to buy for and buying them new would, I mean, I can't afford that right now. But there is a shop here called Goodwill and it's a chain throughout all of America and it's a secondhand store and all of the proceeds go to charity, which I thought is so fitting for what I'm doing. So I always buy the clothes for the kids there. The last time I came to America was about a year and a half ago. And I came back with like two full suitcases full of stuff. They had some really, really great stuff. So I'm gonna go there maybe tomorrow. Um, and I will vlog that for you guys. And I hope I find some great things. And I hope that I can fit it all in my suitcase. So I am allowed two suitcases, I think, two suitcases like to put on the plane and a little one that I can take with me. And I'm not sure what Joni gets. I think she gets a suitcase too. But I am probably gonna have to end up buying another suitcase because I just have so much stuff to bring back. And that's pretty expensive, but maybe if I purchase it like before online, I could, it could be cheaper or something like that. So, I have been talking for a long time. <laughs> and I'm sure most of you guys are like, let's go, let's do something. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna pick up my mom and Joni, they're home, they're having some together time at home, and 
we're going to go, first of all, we're going to go, I think, to a supermarket because we have some stuff we need to buy, but maybe actually on the way we'll stop at um, this place I used to live where they have like some swings and stuff for kids. We have tried to get Joni on the swings, but so far she's not really been a fan of it, but we're not going to give up. We're going to try again. So that's the plan, and I'm just going to take you guys along for the ride. So I'm going to go. Mm. This it's so hot that this coffee is already like dripping, like con condensating, condensating. I can't even say it. Like all over me. So I'm gonna go in the car. I'm gonna go and pick them up, and I'll see you guys. Okay, guys, we're in the car, and we're on our way to that supermarket I was telling you about. But I saw this. We stopped to get gas, and I saw this, and it just made me laugh. And I wanted to show you guys. So check this out. I don't know if you can see over there, but it says firewood. One bundle, $6.99, three bundles, $16.99. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, oh my God, with the amount of firewood that we use, we'd probably be spending like $1,000 a week if this were the price of firewood in the village. I don't know if you can see like the size, like that's a teeny tiny bundle. So like granted the wood is thicker than the one we buy, but like if we were to buy a bundle like that in the village, it'd be like 500 francs which is about 50 cents and here it's seven dollars plus tax so that's gonna be like almost eight dollars so anyway we're almost at the grocery store but I had to show you that because it just made Mama. me laugh yeah you want to say hi say hi you want the camera okay I'll give you the camera say bye 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 friends and as you can see little Joni fell asleep so we decided to go somewhere new. My mom's been telling me about this like shopping center area. Oh, there it is, look. Let me see if you can see. It's actually called The Farm. So it's this really cool like shopping area complex that has a huge supermarket and some other shops and food places. We're actually gonna grab something to eat because we're hungry. But we decided to drive out here because Joni fell asleep in the car and we wanted to just let her rest for a bit. So I'm super excited. And everything, as I can see, is like little farmhouses, which is very appropriate to me and it's making me miss home. So this is a very long line, of course. It's been red for about a minute already. So guys, in the village, as you know, there's no traffic lights. And here there's a traffic light every 30 seconds. Oh my goodness, it's, it's really like a little farm. There's a little windmill. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't want to open the window because there'll be wind. Oh, this is adorable. Wow. I hope you guys can see well. So there's lots of shops. And it's all like little barn style. Oh, so cute. Alright, so I think the first thing we're going to do is grab something to eat. Because we don't want to go to the grocery store and then leave everything in the car while we're eating so we're gonna drive around and see what kind of stuff there is to eat here but I'm feeling something like maybe like a burger something like that but we're gonna see I think I saw there's a burger grill it's a fantastic burger Ooh. can we turn it off how does it turn off so this little thing told us that our food is ready, but it's not turning off. And here, ooh, we have our food. So mom didn't want french fries. Maybe we give it back to them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm gonna... <laughs> Believe it or not, I've been here for two weeks, and this is the first burger I've had. First burger. This is truly amazing. All right, guys, I'm gonna attempt to finish this whole thing. Look, there's two burgers inside here, and cheese, and pickles, and fried onions, and tomato, and cabbage, and oh my god, and we have fries. Amazing. So we're gonna finish this. My mom is here, but she's shy from the camera, so I'm not gonna film her. And Joni is still sleeping over here in the stroller, so we have some quiet time. And then after this, we're gonna head to the supermarket. 
<laughs> I don't know. Maybe she smelt it. She was fast asleep. And Joni just woke up. And she is all about the burger. Joe. Hi. Eat it. Num num. Yeah, it's for you. Let me give you a piece of meat. There you go. Ooh. Mm. What a great thing to wake up to. <laughs> I just looked over at her and she was like, Hi mom. Burger please. Guys, I'm not even halfway through this burger. <laughs> it is so big. But I am determined to finish it. Johnny, look at you! Wow, you in a car? Look at this. This is the supermarket. And we found this amazing cart for Joni. It's so cute. And there's even space to put our food and stuff inside. Joni, are you happy? Should we go inside? Oh, Let's go inside. Welcome. seen anything like it they just have everything I mean they have food that's ready cooked food uncooked food fresh food frozen food cakes breads everything I've never seen anything like it and Joni is like going crazy <laughs> yeah what do you see <gasps> wow <laughs> what's over here just cooked food oh my gosh just like cooked meals. It's so crazy. Let's see what's over here. Wow. Look at all this meat. I can't even imagine what I would do if I had this kind of supermarket back home in Rwanda. It's just so incredible. It's so convenient. Oh my 
my goodness. Joni, look! Oh my gosh! This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Is this crazy or what? This is a live lobster. And you buy it alive. <laughs> and you take it home alive. This is so crazy. Hey, little guy. Big guy. He's a big one. How much do you think this one weighs? Uh, about two and a half pounds. Two and a half pounds. Which means he's probably wow. about 70 years old. How old? 70. 70 years old? Yeah, oh this is the large God. one that are this big are between 50 and 70. Wow. So if this guy is two and a half pounds, then that lobster weighs, I mean, costs around $30. That is so crazy. Thank you. <laughs> Joni, did you see? It's a lobster. Look at the lobster. Look, Joni, look. You see it? Mm -hmm. Yummy. Yay. You like it? Is it good? <laughs> Is it good? Try it again. Mmm. Yay! You're closing it. You've had enough. Alright, we are coming to the end of our supermarket adventure. We're here in the baby section. And I just wanted to show you how convenient things are in this country they have baby water. So this water, you don't need to boil. It's just ready, you put it in the bottle or you mix it with formula, you just need to warm it up. It's just so convenient. I mean, we've just been boiling water, so now I figured we're just gonna get two of these until I leave and enjoy the convenience of America for the next week. So I think we're gonna check out. We didn't really get that many things. We kind of just came here to see how amazing this supermarket is. If I had more time here, we'd probably shop more, but I only have about a week left, so I don't want to waste any food. But this is definitely one of my favorite places I've been to, ever. For me, this is fun. Like, this isn't just shopping, this is amazing. Okay, so the last section, which was a surprise, I thought we went through the whole store, and I guess we did not, is this insanely huge like wine shop that's connected to the entire store i mean look at this look at this just so crazy there's even like a fine wines inside there and it's just all wine oh my god it doesn't end so i've fallen in love with this store and I'm definitely gonna come back the next time I come here and do a big shot. All right, so we have finished our little shop. And you can see we didn't get that much stuff. Joni is happy. Joni! <laughs> All right, so we're gonna walk over to the car now and go home. And I think that'll be it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's different than usual. And let me know if there's anything you want to see, especially here that I'm in New York. But other than that, like, comment, subscribe as usual. And I'll see you on the next one.